finding a few more issues now. So I figured out that the blend door for the uh, um, air conditioning heat vent, uh, the, the actual door here, the cable, which sounds like it's working, um, is, wasn't even attached. It, so that wasn't even working at all. The electric switch was working, the door was not even attached. So again, a bunch more stuff that's easy to fix that, uh, you know, is just kind of weird. Um, lots of this little stuff, but you know what? I'm not really that upset about it. It could be worse stuff. Um, and it gives me a chance to go through everything, make sure that, uh, you know, nothing's gonna fail on us when we're out in the woods. Not like it would be really that catastrophic if the blend door failed on us. These are the guys that I'm using. Um, these are, uh, uh, I believe, Pico branded ones. Um, just the uh, little crimp connector with the shrink tube. I know a lot of people would just solder it, um, but you know what? As compared to these wires that are literally just twisted together, I don't think that uh, I don't think this is a bad upgrade, and I'm of the mindset that uh, yeah, it's not a bad, not a big issue. So. is mostly back together um, sans radio of course I uh, this this radio is actually uh, this Sony one I don't know I've had bad luck with Sony radios but the the face plates all goes all crazy and uh, you know the setting the buttons all stop working and works for a minute and then it stops working so uh, that thing's gonna be uh, out the out the door um, also I replaced this dash trim piece um, this radio is actually just slightly too large to fit through that hole. Um, so somebody with the last radio actually, so they took the uh, they took the dash and just chopped the edge of it right off instead of instead of maybe trimming it out just a little bit more. Um, so now I got this black dash in here and it uh, looks a little better. Uh, fix the dash lights so all the uh, all the bulbs are working. I had a bunch of extra bulbs from some previous uh, salvaging I've done. Um, so replaced all the dash bulbs. Uh, got the cigarette lighter working as well. There was a couple of bad connections back there and uh, it was pretty intermittent. Um, but yeah, I got that working nice and good so I can charge my phone or my iPad or navigation device or whatever I need. Um, Clock's working now as well. It was uh, uh, unplugged, really. That's all it was and set, and it seems to be working. Um, yeah, really coming together, I think. Fixed up a whole bunch of small issues. Not uh, Nothing too big, but um, yeah, got the uh, blend door, um, the actual temperature blend door working again because it was, uh, as I showed in the, the last one there, it was not even attached at all. One of the next electrical tasks I'm going to have to deal with um, there was no overhead console in these things. I believe this thing had an overhead console that had maybe uh, some different features, maybe a compass or something, as well as the interior dome light is missing. There's just nothing there. So, as well as there's one in the back as well. Uh, let's see. But uh, yeah, all the dome lights are missing in this thing, so I'm gonna have to either track down some factory ones, or I thought actually maybe getting some uh, um, you know, like some LED, something cool, you know, something for the kids, right? So the kids love to go wheeling, so they, uh, uh, you know, maybe put some fun LED light strips in there or something like that that'll do, um, you know, regular white as well so that I can illuminate the, the cabin here in a, an appropriate manner. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not too sold on this headliner. It's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's up there, it's on, you know, I'm sure that once the dome light's on there, it's gonna be a little more secure in that spot, but um, yeah, it's uh, hanging down a little bit right there. Not a huge issue, I could probably tuck and glue that back up. But uh, I don't know what I should do with it, whether I should get rid of that or not. It's gonna be a bunch of work and uh, you know, it's not, it's not heinous, but it's not great. I don't know. Continuing with the theme of uh, bad repairs, so, the electric fan, the electric fan down here, it 
was hardwired. So somebody had installed a switch under the dash and had uh, put all this mess of wiring. Now look at that. Can you see that? That is melted. Gross. So I've actually started unhooking all this stuff. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look up uh, the wiring diagrams just to see where all this wiring is supposed to go originally. Um, you can see there's actually drips. So this person did use solder at some point because there is drips of solder down there. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this factory wiring back together. See, maybe there was a problem. I don't know. Maybe the relay was blown because clearly the relay is not there anymore. The relay would have plugged into that block, but they've just jammed some wires in there and clearly melted the crap out of it. Glorious. But um, to be honest, that looks like literally the last kind of bit of the wiring that this guy has uh, has messed around with or whoever it was. I don't know if it was a guy. But uh, the last bit of wiring that's been messed with. So hopefully once I get this fixed up, um, that should be all the electrical I should have to deal with. All the lights and everything on this thing work. There's um, there's aftermarket LED headlights. I don't know, there's no brand on them. They're really, really, really bright. I'm, I'm that asshole now. But uh, I, I kinda wanna change them, but at the same time, they work really well. They're like, as, they're as bright as a light bar off-road, so it, it actually is quite amazing. Um, but uh, yeah, those work fine. I looked at the wiring, it's just plug and play, so luckily there's no, uh, um, nobody spliced into anything, which is nice. All the other lights work. I think there's one burnt out bulb in the back I'm gonna have to deal with. Um, so yeah, well, I don't know which one it is, but we'll have to take that apart and figure it out. Pop those guys out. I think it's on this side. One of the other things I need for the interior that I don't have, this vehicle did not come with, was door panels on the front doors. So I'm gonna have to actually uh, track some of those down. I'm hoping to find this factory kind of tweed fabric. Those seats are kind of dirty. I'm gonna have to clean those maybe, but there's no rips. There's not, you know, there's a little tiny, little tiny thing there, but otherwise the interior is actually, Minus the dirt, it's it's actually fairly, uh, you know, in fairly okay shape for for being what this is. But yeah, I kind of like this tweed. It's really retro, um, 90s stuff, you know. But uh, I'm gonna try to track down a couple front door panels. Not that concerned with that, you know. I'm more concerned with all the functionality stuff now that I got the speakers working properly. All the windows work. I've gone through. Um, put uh, uh, lubrication on the regulators um, and uh, uh, lubricated all the channels, cleaned the channels first. Um, definitely, you know, if I'm gonna wanna stop all the water from coming in, I'm probably gonna have to replace all these little window seal, wi I think they call these window whiskers. I think old guys call them that, I don't know. Um, yeah, so a few, few more things, but you know what, I'm not, I'm not that concerned. Everything else is going pretty good. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's all for this video. Um, there's lots of electrical uh, uh, repairs that I've done today. Um, I'm gonna probably have another video maybe doing some more electrical stuff. But uh, for now, here's my pile of crap. Um, for now, thank you so much for watching. I, uh, I'm gonna have lots more Jeep stuff, don't worry. Um, got some more suspension repairs that I'm gonna have to do pretty soon. I am also going to have to uh, do a bunch of engine repairs as well. The engine runs great. However, it is puking oil at the moment um, So hopefully we can uh, Hopefully we can Get another video of that. Oh my shadows are in the way, but uh, Yeah, the engine is puking oil at the moment from the valve cover from everywhere So like I said in the last video, I got a bunch of parts on the way So hopefully I'm gonna reseal the valve cover do the front front cover all the all the thermostat I have a new thermostat new gasket um, new water pump new water pump gasket all that kind of stuff so hopefully we will get all that buttoned up very shortly and uh, take this thing out into the bush and beat on it